As a woodworker, our creativity defines our work. We often can prove ourselves wrong after we've created something beautiful because we never thought it was possible. Yes, this is just a video about a cutting board, but for me, this is a way I'm able to show myself and to the world what I'm capable of. Our minds try to hold us to a limit set to who we think we are. If we can break free from that limit, you'll come to realize you're truly amazing. Now, before you click away, let's get into this build. So the first step in this project is choosing the stock that I'm going to be using. I will be using walnut, cherry, maple, and ash lumber. Once I have each board cut down to 32 inches in length, I will be moving to the planner for the next step of the milling process. Now over to the table saw where I'll be ripping all my boards down to two and a quarter inch strips. Once I have my strips cut out, I'm going to be planing these boards to various thicknesses to give the board a little more randomness throughout. Also, I will be using my bandsaw to resaw some of these so I don't waste as much lumber as you can see here. Once I have the strips the way I like them, I'm going to be reorganizing them to create a gradient pattern throughout the panel. After a quick glue, I'm headed back over the, to the table saw and I'm going to be cutting this panel into five two inch strips. Now I have my strips laid out just the way I cut them and I'm going to be flipping them 90 degrees and just like that magically they will be cut in half. <laughs> Again, I'm going to be reorganizing these strips to create a further gradient pattern. After that panel is glued up and processed, next I will be angling my table saw blade to 22 and a half degrees and making a couple of angle cuts on this panel. Once I'm happy with all my cuts, I added some extra pieces of cherry and walnut to give the board a little bit of more character. I also rearranged some of the pieces to give it another gradient. This last glue up was slightly stressful due to all the angles in the panel, but after roughly seven glue ups, it's finally time to turn this into end grain. After reorganizing all the pieces and many countless hours into this board, it's time to finally see the reveal. In this moment, I cannot begin to explain how happy and relieved I was when I saw this and how it turned out. After all that being said, I still had two more glue ups ahead of me. I decided to glue up this board in two halves then take it back on the table saw after it's dry and glue it up again to make sure there's no gaps. After the board is fully assembled, I'll be taking a light couple of passes over it with my belt sander. 
then I will be taking a small trip over to my router table doing a small 3 8 round over as well as doing a juice groove and routing in the handles. Now for a final sanding from 60 grit all the way up to 320 grit and then finally it gets its oil bath. After the board dries for a few hours I'm coming back with a beeswax wipe on mixture and then as well adding some feet to the bottom. And here you go, the moment you've all been waiting for, the final reveal. I couldn't be happier with the final result, and I'm super proud of it. As woodworkers, we should be proud of our work. No matter the complexity of the project, you still did it with just your two hands. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.